I used to really want to do a lot of things, and now I find that I don't have the desire, and I don't know why that happens. Yeah, and um, a lot of times what happens when we first start hearing the divine truth, we go through this really strange stage, right? And the strange stage is we, we almost feel, the, the, our fears kick in actually, because we're so afraid of disappointing God in some way that we don't do anything at all. We're like a person who's so afraid to actually go out and do what we desire. We're so worried that our desires might be out of harmony with truth or out of harmony with love that we, we actually decide, oh, I'm not going to do that and I won't do that because that's got this even. Instead of just doing it still and actually bringing our desires into harmony with the love, we have a tendency then to avoid the process of acting. And that is what suppresses those desires that we used to have. Also, at the same time, what is going on is we start recognizing, oh, I used to really like doing that, you know, like I used to really like eating lots of ice cream. You know, you know the story that I've already told you. Like, I get a four litre tub of ice cream, cut it into fours with a knife, bring out one litre <laughs> on the plate, pour it over with the topping, that was my dinner. Right? I didn't believe in having, like, I, I believed in having ice cream before dinner, like, well, if you think about it, it makes sense. You know, you've got the most room for the thing you like the most. But anyway, so, so, so what I was doing there is just I, I, I was in this place where I was just enjoying eating my ice cream. And then, uh, you know, as you progress, you go, oh, you know, oh, wait, I wonder how they produce this ice cream. All oh, right, you know, like, and you go through all of that and you have a look in the internet, you investigate all of those things and you come out, wow, they, you know, they kill all these calves and they all go off to the slaughter and this all happens and that all happens and then they feed these cows this thing and a lot of them are kept in these little booths and by this, time, by this my conscience is now starting to bother me about this ice cream, right? So now I'm not feeling good about eating my ice cream that I used to enjoy, right? So, uh, but I still want to have it. Because it tastes nice still and everything else is still going on. So, so I'm going through this phase where I, I'm thinking things like, what do I do? What do I do with that particular thing or that particular thing? You know? and, and so a lot of times I start getting myself really mixed up with my desires and passions. The key is to not do that. The key is to go ahead with your desires and passions but keep them in harmony with love or bring them into harmony with love. And in fact, if you allow God to help you with this process, which we'll talk about in a minute how that happens, your fears and addictions will all be get dealt with and your life will automatically come in harmony with love, but you'll be passionate doing things. So you'll actually find, if you're finding right now that you're quite sort of down, depressed and not really getting much accomplished, that's because you're afraid to act and that's a fear. That's not. Uh, a thing to do with your true self. Does that make sense to everyone? So my suggestion, Karen, is there's two things happening. One, that I'm first in the state where I'm afraid to act because I'm afraid that one of the things I act in might actually be in disharmony with one of God's laws and I'm afraid of somehow getting punished. And I need to deal with that fear because God's not a punishing God. I just need to feel the results of every action that I take. Secondly, sometimes at the beginning my conscience bothers me. And so then I stop doing the things that I used to desire, but I don't replace those desires or merge those desires into love. And we need to do both of those things. I'll just keep reading this. 